Hey, Jarrett Lau here with Boston HOA Management. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what is a reserve study and is it necessary and should we get one? So what a reserve study is, is they typically will have a third party independent company and this company will come in and it has usually a very strong background on building engineering and understanding how long things are gonna last in the building. And they're literally gonna go through every square inch of the building from the roof to the basement and they're gonna say from, all expenses hey this is how much longer you're going to have on your roof this is how much longer you should be able to you know calculate your rugs and carpets and elevator and things of that nature what will end up happening is that they're going to give you an actual price based upon the replacement of it in five or ten years basing inflation and current costs and what this allows you to do is to have a really really high level overview or scope of what needs to be done at your building when and how much it's gonna cost you. Now you're gonna be able to use this information to be able to have an understanding of like, okay, well, if the elevator is gonna go out in five years roughly, or the roof's gonna be an additional 10 years, how much should we be putting into our reserve? Well, that's only plays into the consideration of how much of the reserve you're gonna to use to actually pay for these expenses. I've seen some buildings not use the reserves at all because they don't have any and they didn't plan properly. And what they do instead is they collect an assessment and that's a one-time expense to be able to help pay for these expenses. A properly managed association will want to have a good mix of both using association you know, reserves, right? And maybe they're not paying the entire thing, but a portion thereof of it as well as collecting assessments when necessary, but to be able to have a game plan. They say prior planning prevents poor performance and to have that understanding using a reserve study of how long things are gonna last and what they should be able to you know, plan out financially and as well as just getting estimates and quotes, it allows them to better have an understanding of the long term for your association and letting the other unit owners know as well because again, at the end of the day, ignorance is not bliss when it comes to us kind of associations. Now to get to the next question of whether you should have a reserve study, reserve studies are not cheap. I've seen reserve studies be three, five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars 15,000. It really depends on how big your building is, how intense you want them to go into it. Make sure that there's an actual value that goes along with it. Now, if you haven't had one for years, Great, maybe that's an understanding that you can need it. But sometimes reserve studies are so intense, right? And on a really detailed level, you know, do you need that much information? Could you hire a home inspector for $300 that gives you a report of the condition of things? Of course, they're not gonna give you the financial aspect of how much it's gonna cost to repair, right? But if you have a good property management company that has gone through the process, such as Boston HOA management of replacing boilers and roofs and things of that nature, for a much more affordable way, we're actually a licensed home inspector you know, as well, we're able to actually give you a better understanding from a really fast, cheap, affordable way of being able to say, okay, what's going on with the building? Now, by no means do we step in and you know, replace a reserve study. Should you guys as a building want to pay for a reserve study, go ahead, do it, use that information, be able to guide it, but just make sure that you're getting a value out of it that you can actually use and do something about. Don't just take a book, not read the book, and not do anything about it. Because many times those reserve studies get overwhelming for people as well as boards because they're going to say, oh my God, we're going to have to plan for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And to a certain extent, that's truthful, but you know, not every single building will plan for every single issue. They're gonna plan for the big things like the roofs and the boilers and other major expenses. And many things you're gonna know what the carpet looks like. Well, again, you're gonna to wanna to go out and get bids and quotes and having the right property manager and company to help guide you through the process of using a reserve study as well as just trying to figure out the capital improvements, length, of you know, the, the time of when you're gonna be doing things to a high level degree is really valuable for a board and association. So if you or anyone else you know is looking for a proactive property manager to guide you through the reserve study process, as well as just helping you understand what budgeting and you know planning looks like for your building and capital improvements, please think of Boston HOA Management. We get more than a property manager, you get peace of mind.